When you're getting into film, it's likely you've heard this adage, film is not dead. And while, yes, the medium of film photography is not dead, there are plenty of dead or discontinued film stocks. So, hi, my name is Dane, and this is a Dane film. And let me introduce you to yet another discontinued Kodak film stock, Vericolor. <laughs> Of the expired film I've tried, I think this roll of Vericolor 3 has yielded the best results. If you recall from the 100 subscriber special at the Antique Fair, Jolene found a roll of Kodak Vericolor 3, the last iteration of the Vericolor series before its discontinuation. It was available in 35mm, 120 and 220 format, and if you don't know what 220 film is, don't worry about it, I explained it in this video. Just know that it's 120 film, but twice the exposures, and it needs to come back. Anyways. Vericolor was released in the 70s, and it's noted to have astounding color reproduction while also retaining a budget price for the time. Because of this, it was popular amongst portrait and wedding photographers, which raises the question of why it was discontinued. And whenever I research that question, with any discontinued film stock I find, two answers always come up. The sales were low, and the rise of and transition to digital. These are fine explanations for something like, I don't know, film made by a car company, but it doesn't really explain the way Vericolor. Discontinued film stocks like Kodachrome and Kodacolor used out-of-date and possibly harmful chemical processes for development, which would incentivize Kodak to hold production. But Vericolor, in all its forms, were developed using C41, a chemical process for developing color-negative film that's still widely used today. So why discontinue a budget film stock with excellent color reproduction that was used and loved by portrait and wedding photographers? Well, because Kodak shifted their focus to a similar, but newer film emulsion called Portra. And the timeline seems to match up. Vericolor 3 was finally discontinued in 1987, and a decade later, the Portra family was released. This online data sheet from Kodak, which explained what Vericolor was, also recommended the consumer to use Portra as a replacement. Okay, that's enough history, let's talk about the pictures. The rolls of Vericolor Jolene found expired in 1987, making it 36 years old, so I overexposed the film by three-ish stops, which seemed to be the sweet spot. I was going to compare how Portra from today matches against Vericolor, but I decided not to when I forgot to buy it. Even if I did, it's hard to do an apples to apples comparison because the pictures I take with an expired film stock in 2023 may not be the best representation of a film stock in its prime. Nevertheless, these images came out better than expected. With expired film, and especially with color negative film, colors can look faded and warped in different areas, but with the rolls of air color, they didn't look faded to a point where it bothered me. I could always bump up the saturation or contrast, but am ultimately satisfied with the results I got. And although I'm sure this film will not be making a comeback, it's great to have some insight and appreciation for the film stock I'm dubbing the predecessor of Portra. <laughs>